All right, America. So I want to talk about a hot topic right now. And we all know what it is, man. <laughs> it's hard to talk about, it, man. It's so yeah, funny. It's that girl getting uppercutted real hard. <laughs> real hard. Like, harder than I've ever seen a dude get uppercutted. And I watch UFC all the time. And I've never seen anything like that. So let's start, number one. I hear that she, like, uh, she, like, spit on him and, like, punched him while she's driving the bus. Okay, that's, that's dangerous. Obviously, that's reckless. Um, it might be punch worthy. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a violent person. I'm not even a, a hitter of women. You know what I mean? But, if I'm driving, <laughs> and you're in the car with me, you know, and you're, you're putting everybody's life in danger, uh, that, I'm not saying you should uppercut her, but there are some things that are uppercut worthy, worthy of uppercuts, um, worthy of uppercution. <laughs> That's what that was. Dog, I have yet to see someone get destroyed like that. Like, he didn't even, he didn't even, like, he didn't even, like, throw a jab. Did you notice that? He didn't even, like, he wasn't playing around. He straight stepped into it. He said, he was not playing. He came at her. And the thing is, when black people get really excited, like, they put their face out there like you're not going to hit them, right? Especially black women. They love that shit. They always be like... You know, like, what you finna do, right? So she's, like, on, basically is leaning into it. You know what I mean? She's, like, leaning into it. He stepped into it, dog. Do you know how much power that is? That's all his jumping force into her chin. Real quick, in a matter of seconds. It's how it went, man. For all those who didn't see it, go see it right now, by the way. Just cut out of this video right now and go watch it. I'm not even playing. Fuck my video. Go watch that girl get demolished. But... He didn't even throw her a jab. That's what I was mad at. He could have just stuck her with one real quick, and then she would have, she would probably would have fell out the same way. He stepped into it, left foot, <laughs> right fist, just a duking, just all in her chin. Like I said, I watch UFC all the time, but I have yet to see somebody get clocked with an uppercut like that. It's always like an elbow or like a spinny back fist. Or like a flying knee. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Dude. He hit her with the gnarliest Ryu uppercut I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and it's not funny, but it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. It's funny. It's hella funny. It's, it's gotta be. The thing is, man, and that's what I wanted to address, man. These ratchet women. You know what I mean? You can't just be popping off at anybody. Especially old people. Old people are already mad. You know why? Because they're old. They're mad that they're not able to move or, you know, like run around like we can. They're already mad at us, right? They're driving slow. They're mad. Their senses are slowing down. They're angry. And they've also, you know, done their time on this earth. You should leave them alone. She got on the bus. This is the most niggardly thing ever, by the way. Yes, I said niggardly on YouTube. Don't care. She got on the bus. Didn't pay. You lost already. You didn't pay on the bus. It's illegal. I got a ticket for it. You should get a ticket for it. Started cussing at the driver because he wanted her to pay. I'm still trying to see where, where your logic's at, lady. That's probably why you had a pink coat anyway. Everybody knows that shit's out of season. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where her head was at. Then, he... You know, he landed a nice zinger. He said, it looks like your face has been sliced up, which is a good one. That cuts deep. Because she was, I seen her. And she was not the nicest looking female. You know, she was uh, rather haggardly. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, she's, she's pretty haggardly, you know what I mean? I would say she looked like, you know, like, you remember those Raisinettes? The California Raisinettes commercials. She looked like, um, like um, the grandfather of one of those Raisinettes. <laughs> I just played. It. She wasn't that that ugly, but she was pretty hurt. So, I mean, just I didn't understand. Like, you know, she's already not looking nice. You know what I mean? It's not that even that bad of an insult. You know what I mean? You 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 pretty much know you're ugly. So. 
just accept that. I'm sure that wasn't the first time she's heard something about her face. It's a it's a constant problem that she has to live with day to day. So, you know, that, that joke, apparently, that was the last straw for her. She couldn't take that last joke because everybody on the bus was weak. <laughs> everybody on the bus, I've seen the video, man. You can't lie, girl. You let your emotions get the best of you, man. Everybody was weak on the bus because that was a good joke. He hit the punchline. I'm a comedian. He landed that shit on the head. <laughs> he said, look like somebody else sliced your face up. Right when she was, everything was quiet. So that's when you want to land that joke. But I digress, man. She, out of nowhere, got, got mad at just that statement. You know what I mean? He really didn't do anything provoking it that further than that. She got mad and apparently went over, spit on him, and tried to hit him while the bus is driving. Now that's a danger in itself. Then you're not even, you're not just hurting you, you know what I mean? You're like killing like 30 people on a bus because he said your face got sliced up? That's hella reckless. She's reckless, you know what I mean? And then that's when, you know, he got up. You're going to jail now! <laughs> that's going to be my phrase for the month, by the way, you guys. I might get that tatted. You're going to jail now. Just get it on my neck. You're going to jail now! You know, and just get a fist right here, coming right here real fast, like aiming for my chin right here. But, and that's when he landed, I, I have to say confidently, the nicest uppercut, uppercution I have ever seen in my life. Okay, I've watched girl fights, right? They don't land punches like that. They can never fight. You ever notice that? Like, they're scratching pulling out hair, dumb shit, shit that's not really even fight worthy, right, they never land accurate punches, like, you'll see, like, guys fight, and, you know, he'll square off, he'll, he'll get somebody, you know, pow, it'll hit him, that's the point of the fight, you know what I mean, that's the fun of it, you hear that noise, you know what I mean, it sound like, when he hit her, man, oh my god, it sound like somebody threw a gobstopper at the windshield, <laughs> it was so loud. I was like, damn, man, either somebody just dropped a whole brick on the floor, you know, either purse or something, or, I mean, or she got knocked out of the bus, man, like, it was just the loudest uppercut, man, I ever seen, so, like, and then he grabs her, throws her off the bus, okay, by the way, he hit her, I'm thinking she's dead, right, I'm like, yeah, she's, she's done, she's dead, he's going to jail, man, he's going to die. She comes back on the bus. I was like, damn, man, you know what? I kind of have to respect her for taking that hit like that and getting back up. Even me, right? I work out. I know a couple, you know, jujitsu, whatever. After getting hit like that, I'm out. I'm out. You got me. I shouldn't have stuck my head out. That's what I would have said. But I have no problem admitting that because I'm an honest person. I'd have been like, yeah, that's, that's a nice uppercut. I'm dipping. I didn't even pay to get on here, let alone have the right to argue with this bus driver, and that's a man, you know what I'm saying, I'm a man, that's me saying that, I would have left, she got up, started trying to fade again, he hits her with the cane choke slam, <laughs> two hands on the neck, slams her on the ground, I was weak, at this point, I had to go use the bathroom, because I was just too weak at this point, I couldn't even really carry on with the video, it was just too funny, I, I was about to just shit my pants. It was too funny, man. Too funny, man. I couldn't, I couldn't even, what can you do, man? That, okay, okay, yeah, don't hit women. But if she hits you, there is some laws that are null and void there. But I would never do it, but then again, it is nice to see a gentleman who has served his time on this earth, probably in the military too by that punch, but has served his time on this earth. It was nice to see him do that to that to an ignorant person like that, because I don't like ignorant people, I hate them, I hate them with all my heart, and I say that passionately, and I look in the camera, I hate ignorant people, so like, when I seen her just get upper fucked, it was beautiful, I'm not gonna lie, there's something inside me that just enjoyed that, I was like, yeah, you needed that, <laughs> trying to kill everybody on the bus, because he said your face got sliced up, so what's your ugly man, deal with it, I was an ugly kid, everybody was ugly one point, I had big ass teeth, small head. It's terrible. And I've grown into my complexion, and I'm okay with it. You know, I'm okay. I have big teeth. It's fine. It's okay. Helps me get through my food faster, bitches. But 
I just wanted to comment on that video, man. And then uh, in the interview, she fucked up again, right? Giving this man all sorts of credit. She said, <laughs> the lady, the interviewer roasted. The interviewer said, you were on the receiving end of one of the most talked about uppercuts. How do you feel? I would have left the interview. That's a roast. That's another punchline, man. She hit it right on the head with a straight face. That's how interviewers do it. How do you feel? And I was like, dang, man, you just laid that. And she's like, she said her first words, I felt like I was on Mortal Kombat. My first thoughts, you're right. It looked like you were on Mortal Kombat. Because <laughs> your head went flying back like you were about to do a full, complete back handspring. I didn't know what was going on. I thought she was about to just flip out the side of the bus. But, man, you cannot say stuff like that when you got uppercutted like that. You can't say Mortal Kombat. It makes it funnier. It makes it way funnier. It's like, like I felt like I was fighting Anderson Silva. Oh, God. Come on. That's hilarious. You can't say Mortal Kombat. Yeah, we were all thinking of it. Ryu, Adukin, Tekken, you know, Street Fighter. Yeah, it looked like one of those things, but you don't say that in an interview. That's more ignorance. That's why I'm really not that sad that she got clocked. Um, I wouldn't do it, like I said, but it might have been nice to watch. <laughs> oh, sorry, man, if I'm being mean, but, like, I just don't agree with, like, you know, younger fucking ignorant people putting their hands on the older people of our generation. I love old people. I don't necessarily like young people. I really don't. I feel like I'm an old young man, to be honest, but I just feel like, you know, she shouldn't have done that. She overstepped her boundaries, especially with a full passenger load, you know, and then she messed up in the interview and then, you know, dropped the Mortal Kombat line. Hilarious. And then she said it hurt it. She said it hurt it. I'm like, all right, man, you need to go straight back to third grade and learn your times tables. But I mean, long story short, y'all, um... If you talk mess on the bus, either don't hold your head out or just, you know, step off that bus because you never know when that Ryu uppercut is coming straight for your chin. All right. Closing statement. You're going to jam now.